In the hushed and solemn atmosphere of the courtroom, a pivotal moment unfolded that would seal the fate of a young boy and his brother. As the judge prepared to finalize the adoption proceedings, she turned to the older boy, Deshaun, and asked if he had anything he would like to say. But hey, before we dive into the story, do yourself a favor and pause the video right now. Go hit that like button and let's see if we can make this video reach 1,000 likes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to your favorite story channel. Also, make sure to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest and weirdest stories. Trust us, you won't want to miss what's coming your way. Now sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed as we take you on an unforgettable ride. Don't forget to engage with us in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Sarah Kozad and Stuart Shank had always known that they wanted to make a difference in the lives of children in need. They had been fostering children for several years, driven by Sarah's unwavering passion for providing a stable and loving home for those who needed it most. One of the children they fostered was a young boy named Michael. Michael was placed in foster care at the tender age of three due to his parents' inability to care for him. When he first arrived at Sarah and Stuart's home, he was scared and uncertain about his new surroundings. The trauma he had experienced made it difficult for him to adapt to the new rules and routines, and he often acted out in frustration. Sarah, however, was patient and understanding. She knew that Michael's behavior was a reflection of the pain he had endured. She worked tirelessly to create a stable and nurturing environment for him, ensuring he had everything he needed, from clean clothes to healthy meals. She made an effort to get to know Michael, taking him on outings to museums and parks, and spending quality time with him at home. Over time, Michael began to feel more comfortable in his new home. He formed a special bond with Sarah, seeing her as a source of comfort and support. They shared many heartwarming moments together, from cooking dinner to watching movies on the couch. Michael even started to open up to Sarah about his feelings and past experiences, something he had never done before. Despite the challenges that come with fostering, Sarah was committed to providing Michael with a safe and nurturing environment. She was patient and compassionate, working tirelessly to ensure that Michael's needs were met. As he grew older, Sarah continued to support him in any way she could, always with the hope that he would eventually be reunited with his biological family. However, it became clear that this dream was not in Michael's future. In addition to his new family situation, Michael had also been separated from his older brother, Deshaun, who had been placed in a separate foster home. Months had passed since Michael had seen Deshaun, and Sarah knew how important it was for them to maintain their relationship. She worked hard to facilitate visits between the siblings, understanding the deep bond they shared. Finally, the day of the much-anticipated sibling visit arrived. Michael woke up early, unable to contain his excitement. He knew he would get to see his big brother, and he could hardly wait. Sarah helped him get ready, making sure he looked his best for the occasion. When they arrived at the park where the visit was scheduled to take place, Michael's eyes darted around in search of Deshaun, and then, finally, he caught a glimpse of him across the playground. Without hesitation, Michael ran as fast as he could and jumped into his brother's arms. The two siblings hugged tightly, tears streaming down their faces. Deshaun looked up at Sarah and smiled, mouthing the words, Thank you. It was a moment that Sarah would never forget. For Deshaun, the visit was a chance to reconnect with someone who had been a constant in his life, even during the most difficult times. His brother was someone he could laugh and play with, someone who understood what he had been through. It was a reminder that despite everything, he was not alone. For Sarah, watching this reunion unfold was a powerful reminder of the importance of foster care. She knew that Michael's life would be forever changed by the love and support he had received in her home. And as she watched the two brothers embrace, she knew that this was what it was all about, creating a sense of family even in the most difficult circumstances. Realizing how important it was for the brothers to stay together, Sarah decided to foster Deshaun as well. Initially, she had reservations about fostering an older child as Deshaun was 10 years old. But upon meeting him, she quickly formed a strong bond with him and became his foster mother with ease. 
Sarah and Stuart had always prioritized supporting reunification efforts as foster parents, but they eventually faced a challenging and emotionally turbulent journey when deciding to adopt the boys, which was not their original plan. Throughout the process, they struggled with conflicting emotions and were torn between the desire to reunite the children with their biological family and the wish to adopt them. When the day of the adoption hearing finally arrived, Sarah and Stuart were extremely nervous. What would the judge say? It could go either way. They sat in the courthouse waiting for the judge to enter the room, holding hands tightly. This was the day they had been waiting for, the day when the boy's future would be decided. Sarah's heart raced as she thought about all the time she had spent with Deshaun and Michael. She had watched them grow and flourish under her care, and she couldn't bear the thought of them leaving her. Michael, too, was feeling anxious. He had never known a life without Sarah, and the idea of not having her in his life was almost unbearable. As they waited, the tension in the room grew. Every passing minute felt like an eternity, and Sarah and Deshaun's nerves were frayed. They knew that the judge's decision would change their lives forever, and they couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by the gravity of the situation. Finally, the judge entered the room, and the proceedings began. Sarah listened intently as the judge reviewed her case, outlining the reasons why Deshaun and Michael's interests would be best served by staying with Sarah and Stuart. She held her breath as the judge took a long pause, deliberating over her decision. As the tension in the room mounted, Deshaun squeezed Sarah's hand tightly. He could feel his heart pounding in his chest, and he could see the fear and anxiety etched on Sarah's face. And then finally, the judge spoke. Deshaun, the judge said, before I make my final decision, is there anything you would like to say? Deshaun took a deep breath and looked up at the judge. Yes, your honor, he said. They all love us. We love them. Our whole family is the best thing we ever had. I'm glad to have these people in my life. I'm glad to be their son. They're the best thing I ever had. If I could wish for anything in the world, I would wish I could just love these people for the rest of my life. There was a collective gasp in the courtroom as Deshaun's words sank in. Sarah was overcome with emotion, tears streaming down her face. The judge smiled, clearly moved by Deshaun's heartfelt words. I don't think I need to say anything more, the judge said. It is clear that Deshaun has found a loving home with you, and I'm happy to announce that the adoption is granted. The courtroom erupted in applause as Sarah hugged Deshaun tightly, grateful for the love and affection he had brought into her life. It was a moment they would both cherish forever. After the hearing, the family of four walked out of the courthouse hand in hand, both overjoyed at the judge's decision. They embraced each other tightly, tears of happiness streaming down their faces. For Sarah, the relief and joy were overwhelming. She had poured her heart and soul into fostering Deshaun and Michael and had prayed that the adoption would be granted. Now, finally, she could call them her sons and give them the forever home they deserved. As they left the courthouse, Deshaun kissed Michael on the head as Sarah looked on. It was clear that Deshaun's relationship with his brother had grown even stronger since their reunion, and Sarah was grateful for the bond that had been formed between them. For Sarah, Stuart, Deshaun, and Michael, everything has changed, and nothing has changed since Adoption Day. They had been living as a family, but now it was official. The journey that began with fostering had led to the creation of a forever family bound by love and resilience. The courtroom victory was just the beginning of their next chapter, one filled with hope, joy, and the unbreakable bonds of family.